Alexandra Burke gushes over her amazing friendship with Strictly Gorka Marquess. She has endured a tough couple of weeks at the hands of merciless trolls, as she grieves for her late mother while competing in Strictly Come Dancing. And Alexandra Burke credited her amazing friendship with dancing partner Gorka Marquez for helping her get through the emotional turmoil of the past few months. Speaking to Mail Online, the singer, 29, gushed that the 27-year-old Spaniard brought her much happiness, and admitted they had already planned to meet up after this weekend's final. Alexandra dubbed the strictly experience and being partnered with Gorky a blessing in disguise for helping to keep her mind off her mother Melissa's death in August. As soon as we started it was a very hard time for me, but to have this as an amazing distraction, a blessing in disguise, something to focus on and also get the most amazing friendship with Gorky from it, has been absolutely out of this world, she said. The journey for me is still going to go. I don't want this to be the end and I don't want to see it as the end. Proving the strength of her friendship with Gorka, Alexandra admitted they have already booked to meet up next week. I'm trying my best this week to not be like this is the final week and I'm not going to see Gorka again. I know I will, we've booked it next week. So I'm trying to focus on the joy it brings and the happiness it's brought me. The former X Factor winner added, and the happiness that Gorka has brought me. Because every time we're in that rehearsal studio sometimes we get to do 10 hours, that's a lot. Sometimes we don't and we do 8, 7 or whatever but still that's a lot and you're in each other's space so much. I've loved it. I've loved every single moment of it. I wouldn't change this journey for the world. Gorka added, it's been incredible. I have been loving every day in rehearsal and last year was my first year. I was out very soon. But this year. The experience has been incredible for me and it's thanks to her, Alexandra. She comes every day and tries to give her best like Giovanni said it makes our jobs so easy and enjoyable and I love it. I don't want this to finish. Thank you to her, she's been the best. Alexandra has been accused of displaying over-the-top behavior and of faking her tears for mom Melissa's death. The soul I I soul singer passed away in August age 53 after a nine-year battle with kidney disease. Discussing the relentless negativity, she said, I didn't know what to expect coming onto this show, I knew I wanted to do it for so long so happy I've got a chance to. I think the feedback I've got online is more about whatever you're going through in life, you can find a good outcome, there is light at the end of the tunnel. I had the opportunity to take a step back and say to myself that maybe I wasn't ready to do the show mentally but I've actually surprised myself and I'm not going to say everything has been rosy. I've had up and downs but I've done something that has wrought me such joy that if I could inspire someone else to do the same thing to dance, to do what they love in the toughest of times of their life then that's what I'm here for. She added that she and her fellow celebrity dancers are a tight-knit group and all stay in touch through chat groups. I think some people genuinely don't believe that everyone gets on but you don't feel it until you're a part of it, the singer confessed. And I said to people until you meet everyone. You actually don't know the vibe anyone has and the connection that everyone has and actually since the day Rodampton started and we met all the pros, all the celebs met each other and it was just a magical moment because that's when the connection started to happen. You fast forward three months later and even those who have left the show, we talk to them every day on our little group chats and everyone is so supportive. And so anything negative out there like you said is 1% because the positivity completely outshines anything that is negative. Alexandra also admitted she didn't feel like a role model, and added that doing Strictly left her feeling more vulnerable on stage than while singing. A role model doesn't feel right to me but I am completely out of my comfort zone so I know when I go on stage and sing with my microphone. Yes I'm nervous but if I make a mistake I can't walk to the left and just sing and the dancers behind me can just do their thing, it's fine. This I don't have my safety blanket of a microphone and that's what really scared me. She is competing against Debbie McGee, Joe McFadden and Emma Atkinson in this weekend's final, admitted she just wanted to do Gorkut proud. Speaking about making it to the final, she said, it leaves me a bit speechless and overwhelmed to get here. The fact we're at this point is a massive achievement and to be at this part for the first with Gorkut because it's only his second year and the fact we've got this far together is so special. I've said it all the time. We're all winners the fact that we're here at this point and we've achieved so much. We're all trying, there's no expectations.
Just high hopes and do the best we can don't let nerves get the better of us. Just want to perform to the best of my ability and do you gork it proud and what will be, will be. Ask if her mother would be proud of how far she'd come on the show, she admitted strictly was Melissa's favorite show. This was my mom's favorite show, my family's favorite show and I think she'd be very proud I hope and I actually am sure she would be, she told the Daily Star Sunday. My mom was just the most amazing woman who gave me so much strength even to this day. Everything I do is for my family. Discussing the effect the trolls had on her mental well-being, Burke claimed it was her fault for reading any nasty comments. Yes, there has been some trolling but the way that we deal with it is that we get on with it freely. Sometimes it can't take its toll mentally and that's my fault for reading but you can't help but read some things when you've got the apps like Instagram and Twitter and they're there on your phone and notifications pop up. She continued, at the end of the day, there's so much love out there so I concentrate on the love and the positivity because I'm such a positive person and I don't care what I'm going through, I'll find a reason to smile at anything and that's the way I've been since I was a little girl so the trolls can't just go away.